All right, cheer up. Have a drink with me. Guys like me, all we want is, I don't know. Uh, we're at our uh, location with our stand-up comedian. So what's the difference between my ex-wife and a million dollars? I don't have a million bucks buried under my house. Yeah, so we've got our comedian and he's the sort of spine of the story. He's the conduit that holds all the different scenarios together into, into one big whole. You punch the clock, you pay the bills. You tuck a bit away so one day you can afford that lazy boy. We all know a Donnie, right? Donnies do no wrong. All we want is someone who, someone who can be the same person. Then I just froze. Because I could see my reflection in the glass. Always I'm playing the character of Dead Funny, who um, I guess essentially kind of narrates the film. And you catch who you are. Intertwined, so you know you'll you'll hear his speech and um, you love him a bit. Then you know it'll kind of go over and in, in and out of uh, the other images and the other characters, and uh, hopefully give it a bit of context, uh, maybe lighten some of it up a bit. But um, I don't know, it's got a, it's got a kind of pathos to it this one as well, which is um, which is nice to do. A toast, to Donnie and Ellie. So writing a piece of stand-up that's actually not meant to be all that funny is kind of goes against everything that I normally do. Hopefully people don't laugh too hard, otherwise we're gonna be here all day <laughs> doing takes. Oh, what the hell? Here's to me, staring at you with a deadly cocktail of utter love and seething jealousy. That's great. That's great. It's only when something so beautiful or so violent or so horrifying happens. And you catch who you are.